In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a sales script using ChatGPT. So to get started, all I did was I put in this very simple prompt asking ChatGPT to create a sales script for payroll outsourcing. You could basically replace payroll outsourcing with the product or service that you sell. And then ChatGPT goes on to create this sales script. So I'm not gonna read through this and bore you to death, but I'll just highlight some of the key stuff here and kind of point out how it's structured the sales script Script. And then I'll share some overall thoughts when we reach the end of the script. But it starts out with an introduction, including sharing a purpose for the call on the front end. A little bit of room for improvement here, but not too bad. Then it goes on to ask a couple questions. I agree with that approach. Maybe some room for improvement in the questions. Then a mention of common challenges, which is something I recommend you do in terms of sharing common pain points that your product or service can help to solve. Then it goes on to mention some of the benefits of the product or service being sold, and I think that's good. Then the script goes on to talk about some details of the product or service being sold, sharing a client testimonial to build interest a little bit more, that's good. And then it transitions to next steps, referring to a demonstration, and then some details here at the end for follow-up and closing. Not real sure what all that is about. But my overall thoughts about what ChatGPT produces, it exceeded my expectations, and in some ways, it's better than a lot of salespeople that I interact with. I get cold emails and cold calls every day from salespeople, and most of them are product pushing salespeople that lean towards, this is who I work for, this is what we sell, do you need what I sell? And ChatGPT is out of the gate better than that by being a little bit more consultative, asking some questions, emphasizing benefits. So overall, pretty good, definitely some room for improvement, but this is something that you could work on. And one thing with playing around with this that I was really impressed with is that there's a tremendous amount of knowledge that ChatGPT has that you can have access to. For example, in some follow-up requests to ChatGPT, I asked for more details around features. By submitting this request, I just asked features for payroll outsourcing and ChatGPT listed out all these different features of a typical payroll outsourcing service. And this is all really great stuff. This is stuff that you could use for your sales script. I also submitted a similar request asking for more details on the benefits of payroll outsourcing and ChatGPT spit out all these different details in terms of benefits now, all these details that I'm showing you can be part of your sales script, but actually there's too much information here. This is almost the level of detail that you'd want for maybe a website or a data sheet or a brochure. It's really too much for your sales script, but watch this. If I refine what I'm asking ChatGPT for by modifying the request to add a little bit more detail. So now I've asked benefits for payroll outsourcing using between 10 to 15 words for each benefit. Now look at this list that ChatGPT has produced. This is much tighter and this is now something that could be used to create a sales script, creating a tool that a salesperson can use as a guide to remember the key points to talk about when they're talking to a prospect. So my overall thoughts with using ChatGPT to create your sales script, I think it's a great resource that you can use, but there's a couple challenges. And one of those is from an input standpoint. So if you saw here, I had to ask ChatGPT certain questions in order to pull the information out of it. So for you to create your sales script, you're going to need to know what questions to ask and you're going to need to know how to instruct ChatGPT to produce the type of information that you can use. And that can take some learning and it can take some time on your part. The other challenge that I see with this is from an output perspective. ChatGPT is going to spit out this information for you. And then what do you do with that? It's not really in a good format that you can use immediately as a sales script. It's not like you're going to have ChatGPT up in front of you when you're on the phone with a prospect. So you have to take a step of taking the information from ChatGPT and then putting it somewhere so that you can easily access it and use it ongoing. So that's an extra step and something that you'll need to figure out. Actually, Sales Scripter can solve both of these challenges for someone wanting to use ChatGPT to create their script because we have a sales message brainstorming process and each of these steps is a request that you could make to ChatGPT. 
ChatGPT. So you could use our process here as your guide for pulling that knowledge out of ChatGPT and telling ChatGPT what content and what information to create for your sales script. So Sales Scripter can help you with using ChatGPT. The thing that I'm really excited about this area is that ChatGPT can greatly help Sales Scripter because this step-by-step -step process is really effective at creating an optimum sales message. But when you go through this process, you have to stop and create all these individual bullet points. And for a lot of our customers, that can be challenging for two different reasons. First of all, us humans can lean more towards being lazy and not really wanting to put in effort to create stuff. And this process does take a little bit of effort. But in addition to that, it can be difficult to think of some of these individual points and difficult to go through some of these steps. And ChatGBT solves all of this because ChatGBT can create all of these individual points. And so what we've done is we've actually integrated Sales Scripter with ChatGPT to where you can go through our sales message brainstorming process and have ChatGPT do all the work. So let me show you what this looks like real quick. So I'm creating a product profile for payroll outsourcing. And the next step is to list out the different features for that particular service. And I can use ChatGPT to create this list of features. And so through this pop-up, ChatGPT has provided a list of features for payroll outsourcing. And this should look very similar to what would be displayed directly in ChatGPT. So if I just select all of these different features and then add those to my account in Sales Scripter, we've then filled out this full step by using ChatGPT. And the next step is to brainstorm how our payroll outsourcing could be different from the competition. And ChatGPT is going to give us a list of differentiation points. Now we certainly don't have to use all these exactly, but it gives us a great starting place to build on and gives us ideas to work with. And so here we're loaded up with all of the differentiation points provided by ChatGPT. The next step in the process is to brainstorm benefits. And so let's ask ChatGPT for a list of benefits. And here is our list of benefits. And notice that it's using the very short explanations. And that's because our request that we're sending over to ChatGPT is using the instruction to, to use between 10 to 15 words for our answers. So if I select all of these, we're then loaded up with benefits. Moving on to our next step, which is to brainstorm pain points that our payroll outsourcing services can solve. And so here's a list of pain points produced by ChatGPT, and I'll just use all of those. And our next step is to think of pain questions to ask based on those pain points. And so we can have ChatGPT create all of those. And so here are pain questions. And we've instructed ChatGPT to create those as open-ended questions. So here we are loaded up with all of our pain questions. And we can also ask ChatGPT to create our current state questions and create current state questions to ask for our service of payroll outsourcing. And so here is a full list of current state questions. So here are all of our ChatGPT created current state questions. And if I hit done here, so what I've done just there in a matter of minutes is I've created a sales message for payroll outsourcing using ChatGPT. What normally would take at least 20 minutes, if not more, answering all of those questions about payroll outsourcing, we were able to go through it and answer in a matter of minutes. But the real important thing is, is what does the software do with all of those answers? And just in case you're not familiar with Sales Scripter or haven't watched any of our other videos, we just went through all of these different steps and each step creates a set of bullet points. Each set of bullet points becomes what we refer to as building blocks. And then what you can do, whether you're using Sales Scripter or a piece of paper, is you can mix and match those points and those blocks to create your cold call script, to create your appointment script, or you can use those same blocks to create your objection responses, or an email campaign, or your voicemail messages. And so we now, in a matter of minutes, have created all of those building blocks inside of Sales Scripter, and I can show you how the software mixes and matches those building blocks to create all of those different documents. So here's a folder of sales scripts, and there's a variety of different cold call scripts, appointment scripts, and if I just show you one of these real quick, here's the introduction, opening with a value proposition, pain questions, current state questions, pain points, product details, benefits, differentiation, 
impact of doing nothing, customer example, and then going for the close. Sales Scripter makes it easy for you to interact with ChatGPT by you not having to worry about what to ask and how to write the correct request for ChatGPT because we've done that. And ChatGPT helps Sales Scripter by drastically reducing the time it takes to get all of your information into your Sales Scripter account to create a full library of sales scripts, email templates, objection responses, and more. And that is pretty much it. If you have questions or want more information, the best place to go is salescriptor.com. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for being here, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.